Greetings, everyone. Today, I am working at Amazon like I have been for the past almost six months. And uh, today is June 6th, I believe, the filming of this video. Oh, June 7th. June 7th. I am corrected. I guess I'm just going to film what I see every day because when you want to be content, you just got to show content that nobody else has. So I, I, I leave every day past this... Uh, it's like a little airport. It's called Bremerton Airport. I'm not sure how long it's been there. I could do a video on that. I work by it. I can check it out anytime. They have a really good fish and chip place that I remember. So I recently heard that place just closed down. So no more fish and chips. Growing up here. But I didn't grow up here. I've been here for a good 10 years. A little 10 plus years. Bremerton, Washington, the city of uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot. I mean, he had the song called Bremelos, and then you have uh, MXPX. They're from out here. They're pretty big and famous. Uh, honestly, you can run into them almost anywhere in Bremerton. Yeah, look, well, let's uh, see where today is gonna bring me. I'll show you some cool things today. I have a 140, Three in Centralia, which means I have an hour and a half drive, around maybe five hours complete my route, and then uh, an hour and a half back. Maybe I should have filmed this sideways. I feel like the, the rest of these videos are going to be put sideways, do some landscape shots because it's what it's supposed to be on YouTube wearing my uh, goofy hat today. I wear a vest, so I, I always feel like I need to be a little goofy. I'm Max Heckin, by the way. And also go by Pin Hat Matt, because I, I really like the, the pins on the hat. Everybody does them on their lanyard, on their vests. I got some awesome props in the parks from pin traders that have been trading for years that have stop me to compliment me on my hat and it, oh, it's heartwarming they're not even cast members they're almost better no okay i can't say better they're like magic in their own right about to pass this here in Belfair is where I first started going to church out here did music with the church did a bunch of stuff with the church and decided later on in life to appear off and do my my own thing have my own ideals and wants in life and I I'm loving where I'm at right now I mean, I guess the whole reason why I'm starting this vlog is because I don't vlog and I feel like I need to be vlogging. And why not start by starting now? Let's start now. Let's, let's point ourselves in a camera, put ourselves in one of those little crosshairs. No, I think the center, the center look is all right. I don't know, you guys tell me. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna try to post regularly. Uh, yeah, I will be posting regularly. I am a Disney dad, Disney adult, uh, a lover of Disney. I'm actually a lover of all theme parks. I'm growing up in California myself. I grew up in LA, East Side, what? Yeah, 
This is what I see every morning. I mean, I guess it's not the morning. It's around 10.35. Uh, 30, yeah, 10.35. And it's just a beautiful day. The water's right over here, right around a couple of these bends. I'll show you here in a second. I live in Washington state, so there's bodies of water everywhere. Seattle's a hop, skip, and a jump. You can see water for miles. You can see bodies of water out here for Niles and Niles and Niles. Oh, water. Oh. <laughs> We are now in the town of Allen. Little Lake City right here. They got a boat house over here somewhere. It's a little quiet place. I guess not so quiet. You got the wood carvers out here carving away. We got the boat house right over here, boating away. Speed limit 35, keeping it cool, cruising through until we get up to the 50 mile per hour sign like a good Amazon driver. What the hell? That's beautiful. Picking it back up, picking it, picking it back up to 55. I'm not sure what lake this is, but this lake is beautiful. Dang you trees. I think it's just a water end. long drive hour and a half drive every morning I queue up a YouTube video and I watch my daily woo video which is I don't drink too much coffee so it's pretty much my piping hot caffeinated beverage video every morning I don't really watch it I more or less listen to it and it's a really good vlog it's honestly my main inspiration for starting a vlog. He brings so many people to the table and how cool would it be to just someday to vlog alongside Adam. I think that'd be pretty neat. In my mind, I've, I've transformed these YouTubers into like celebrities, like these higher deities. I don't know why it happens like that. Like, I, I did music for a little bit. I played in bands. I played bass like Adam the Woo. Uh, I'll post a video up here soon of that. I was rocking pretty hard. Rocking pretty hard back in the day. In my pop punk years. Me. I love being, I loved being in a band. I miss being in a band. I loved playing music. I still wish I could be just out touring. But it's okay. Right now I get a view of not St. Helens. That's the one that blew up. Mount Rainier. I get to look at that almost every day I drive. It's right over there. I'm about to pass the state capitol actually. You think I'm ridiculous for driving this far? Dude, it's it's pretty ridiculous. Coming from uh little town of Port Orchard, Washington. Going 
out to Shelton. Uh, my boss doesn't want to pay for the, the toll. He already has to pay for gas. So instead of driving through Tacoma, crossing the bridge, risking any traffic, I'm way over here passing the Capitol building. Uh, it's behind me and I probably won't be able to see it. Too many packages behind me. Driving on the freeway. Speed limit has picked up from 60 to 70 miles per hour out here, which is pretty nice. I gotta say, I, I like driving a little bit faster, get where I'm going a little bit quicker, not wasting my time on the road as much. I guess while I'm on this drive, I'll tell a little, little bit, a little, little, I'll tell a little bit more about myself. I was born in California. I now reside in Washington State not Washington DC, which is like, if this was the map, right here. I'm way over here. And if this is a mirrored image, that looked ridiculous because it'd be flying from right here. I didn't think I was in the musicals, but I really like musicals. Uh, my favorite composer slash playwright, writer, I don't know what you want to call him definitely like one of those amazing people of our generation. Uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda, he's one of my favorites. I can't get enough of him. I've been branching out to other music, but for like, I want to say for a good three to four months straight, it was nothing but Lin-Manuel Miranda. As soon as he came out with Encanto, I was like, yo, this guy can do some music. And then I realized it's the same guy that did Moana. I'm like, Ning started watching uh, one of his plays that he came out with a while ago uh, in the Heights but I, I didn't watch that one until Hamilton is so good Hamilton is so good if you don't know you need to watch some Hamilton it's a it's a play it's a musical but it is good I've never been moved by singing, acting. Then there's some pretty good crying moments and it. it's like it hits you hard. Because I feel like music has this emotion that just knows how to touch your strings, your heart strings. It blew me away. I love it. I love it. Once you start singing it, you'll start quoting it. I got In the Heights stuck in my head right now. So the, the person, the lead person of uh, Encanto is in, is in the Heights. She makes a, an appearance in there. As one of the, the hair keepers. I'm gonna start my day by going to uh, Pizza Hut. I'm gonna flip my camera around so you can see what I look at. It's just miles and miles of road. Miles and miles of road. Check it out.
That's not smog. That those are clouds. That's where uh, rain is stored and it waters the plants naturally. <laughs> Probably gonna be slow going at first. I don't know who's gonna watch me, <laughs> but Washington, Centralia, it's nice out here. I was also deep Max Heckin because I'm half Mexican. Max Heckin, right down my alley. But Max was just was a nickname at first, first and foremost because of. Uh, my son Andy, he he didn't know how to say say Matt for the longest time, longest time. But he called me Matt for a while, not Dad. Which is it's still like that, just because it's just my name. I'm now entering the town of Centralia. I'm actually gonna drive right through this and go to uh, Chehalis there is a pizza place that gives out uh, $5 for pizza and a soda. Can't beat that deal. I've made it. I have arrived to my location where I will procure my $5 pizza. I have secured my, or procured my $5 pizza. It's not a bad size. For my hand, it's, it's pretty thick too personal pizza probably only eat two slices this whole entire drive that that'll do it got a little buffalo ranch awesome now back to work so you notice here that uh there it looks like snow or snow bubbles all over this spot right here to get a better look at the cottonwood pollen it looks like snow it doesn't feel like snow. It makes an imprint like snow. But it gets everywhere and it just looks like it just piles everywhere. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's like a snow globe of just this pollen constantly. A week ago, driving through the freeway, it was bad. You can see it right here. All of this cotton. New structure over here. We need a little building set up. Cool, back on the road. Anyways, it's Little Caesars time. Uh, you didn't, guys didn't see me do it, but I, I destroyed one piece, I really had to. Little tiny square pan pizza. With the lemon lime soda, seven up. Zero sugar, I guess, but I got my buffalo ranch and I'm gonna add some extra toppings to my pizza how many sides can you see from here yeah this is a big deal right here too I heard about this you got the Fox Theater which is located right there which is right here in front of me which is pretty awesome. Fox Theater, the last word in talking picture entertainment. How cool. Cool facade. And right over here where I'm parked, I got this big old white van. But you got these cool Centralia Square. This is a historic building I've gone up to it it's Centralia Square luxury hotel and ballroom grand ballrooms there's a little uh, bar and place to eat inside there it's pretty neat some older buildings right here next to the United States Postal Service I just delivered right there and right here we have our uh, library all right, let's go check out those statues. Warren O. Grimm and Arthur McElfresh. 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 The Sentinel. 
It was their destiny, rather, it was their duty. The highest of us is but the sentry at his post. And there's this big old statue on this cloudy day. And here we got a little thing here. Time capsule, ooh, 2036. I might be here for that. I want to, January 2036. Here's some more of the other guys here on the other side. We've been, we live in deeds, not years. In thoughts, not breaths. In feelings, not figures. And on a dial. <laughs> figures? Figures on a dial. Ernest, Dale Hubbard, and Ben Cas Casagranda. Casagranda. Granda. 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 Look at this detail on this guy's backpack and shovel. In the memory of Ben, Warren, Ernest, Arthur, slain on the streets of Centralia, Washington. <laughs> Armistice Day. November 1919 while on peaceful while on peaceful parade wearing the uniform of the country they loyal they loyally and faithfully serve it's easier to read on my phone than on the stone itself that's pretty neat let me get one more statue before I get out of here oh here check this out right in front of the centennial and the flag you have the Iraqi Freedom, Desert Storm, Vietnam, Korea, World War II, with all the names, wow. And all the way down to uh, World War I. And here on this placard says, Lewis County War Memorial, the Freedom Walk. Oh, neat. This is pretty cool. All right, one more, and then we're gonna get back to work. Carnegie Public Library, that's that building right there. It's pretty neat. We'll go inside there someday, and I wanna show that to you guys, but it's super cool. George Washington and Mary Jane Washington. George and Mary Jane Washington. This is a different George Washington, obviously. Talk, reading the centennial. Oh, they're reading a map. Right on. Black American pioneer of courage. Yo, it's, a, it's the black George Washington. Just George Washington. What's his last name? Washington's well, that's pretty neat. I'm glad I, I stopped to look. And I've known about the history here and there, but the history is just everywhere. I'm doing the, the walk one more time, which is pretty neat. One more thing to look at. It's time for me to go. Get my Get my route finished. Just never had the time. Oh, here, check this out. Little memorial here for uh, September 11th. A day not to be forgotten. Crazy. History. The POW flag with the American flag up here. Coming of change in Trailio, Washington. Yeah. Coming of change. The Centralio Massacre. In memory of George Washington, humanitarian. Founder is one of the first citizens. Pretty neat. And here, here's the library again. It's pretty nice from the inside. I'm, I'm not gonna go inside today. It's just because 
I have to get my, my work done. A little tiny gazebo right here. I wonder what they did inside here. Music, games, who knows? I mean, well, that about does it for today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna see anything else. See anything else, but just gonna end the, the vlog right here and say follow check me out any day i want to be out of your lives i hope you enjoyed what i found i, I know there's more around the city i love looking around the city but this is just what's history here, what what they have here. That's what I've, I've gone and done a little bit of research on. And wow, what a, what a weird history to have. Almost a hundred years ago, 1919. Uh, All right guys, well you gotta have a good day. Make sure you like and follow. Um, and I wish I could have done a little bit more today. I should have done a lot more, but it's it's okay. I don't need to be. I need to be back at work. I'm pretty sure my boss is wondering what the f what the heck are you doing right now? Have mercy. All right. Well, that'll be it. You have a good day. So just a block down from where I was at earlier. You got Locust, which splits right here between East and West, and South Tower Avenue, where you'll see more of Fox Theater right up there. And whoever Debbie Campbell is, happy birthday. On the side of the building, you got Buffalo Bill and his Wild West something. You got a little city flag up here it says welcome to centralia historic town just in the way here and it's pretty neat it is now converted into a frozen yogurt shop and yeah i'm not gonna be attending this but it sure looks cool still got some lights up on the sign Everything looks great. Awesome. Oh, I know. Like all this, it looks like it's snowing. I feel like I'm in a snow globe. All of this, cotton, cottonwood pollen? Yeah. Cottonwood pollen. It's on top of the roofs, everywhere. Cars, wow. Driveway, Driveway. everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> like the me. last spot has to be right here. It's just nothing but trees and farm. Check this farm out right here. It's just neat. There is a bigger farm farther up on the hill. There's cattle, huge fields and mountains. I just reached a sign that said, end of country road ends in 500 feet. made it to my house. On my way home, you can see the, the Capitol building peeking above the trees here, above the tree line. Not sure if you can see that. Capitol building right there. Got it. Speaking of Adam Lavu, check out this arch. It's more of a bridge, but arch nonetheless.